February 26, 1997. The first flood forecast was issued after Winnipeg and surrounding areas in the Red River Valley received higher than average snowfall. The next day, flood preparations began for what would become the worst flood since 1826. Forks was, uh, the, the Forks is like the city of Winnipeg is protected by the, uh, the floodways, so really there wasn't much we could do and honestly if the Forks was going underwater so was basically the city of Winnipeg, so it was, at that point it was totally out of our hands. The 1997 flood was a wake-up call to Winnipeg and the province of Manitoba. The Winnipeg floodway couldn't handle the sudden rush of water in the spring thaw and many city homes were lost. So, in 2005, the floodway was expanded to further protect Winnipeg and its residents. It's, it's not natural water anymore. Once they raise those gates, they're giving us unnatural water. It's not the natural flow anymore. When the red people ran the Red River, ruled the Red River, it ran white. It was clear and it had trout. And then when the white people came and they started running the Red River, it now runs red, right? It's killing everything in its way and it's a dirty red color, right? So we've really messed it up. And that's just it. We're not boaters. We're not cottage people. We don't, you know, we don't go fishing. We don't go yippee yahoo. Like, I can hardly wait to boat on my property. Um, that, you know, again, this, you know, other people might go, oh yay, the lake came to me. But, but it's not the same as lake water. Staircases show up. Walls show up. Um, you know, dead animals show up. It's it it's it's creepy, creepy water. It's not like lake water at all. Are we better prepared uh, for the 2011 flood than, than ever before? Yeah, yes, we are. Certainly, um, it's been a more long, um, more dragged out uh, flood. With um, like last year, we would have been we would have been flooded flooding already, and um, the thaw is so slow and long that um, everybody has more time to prepare. And of course, the government's been talking about it really since January already. We had a dike originally from '79 and we built it up four and a half feet in 97 before the flood came. They told us we only had to go two feet. We went four feet. That's how much I trust the government. The water was going down in Grand Forks. It was going down in Emerson already, but they cut that road. And then all the water is not gonna go west it's going to go its natural path back to the Red River. I don't know if it will be any different. I don't know what we have. The only thing I, I hope and pray for is that we have a slow melt and it goes slowly, that not all the water comes at one time. Because if we get everything from the States and all the water in here at the same time, it could be worse than 97. I can't, I can't do any preparing. I have my business, I couldn't, I couldn't just put a hold on the whole year because there might be a flood. You know, so I don't think people really realize it. And they think, well, why, what are you doing living here or whatever? Well, we're living here because this is the roots. I mean, how many people can say five generations have come from here, especially for Canada, right? You know, it's, th this is home and this isn't natural. We don't want to stay away from the rivers. We don't want to uh, retreat from the rivers. The, the Forks' great success is, is Winnipeg's first waterfront access project. So we want to encourage that as opposed to saying that we have to be realistic. And uh, something has changed since 1993. The rivers are flooding in the summertime where historically they never did that before. I don't think people really appreciate how, how the southern people and the northern of, of Winnipeg um, how much we do to save the city that, that we never asked for, right? Like, I didn't sign up to be a soldier, <laughs> you know, and yet this is what you're doing to us. But who knows if it's going to be any better? I don't know. No, I don't trust the government.
I am terrified. <laughs> it's so big.